Hey there, Nick Owner here, and I'm back with some more roommates. So, as usual, we'll just start up where we left off. I believe this, hopefully that was the right save. That was like on the full page, so I would hope so. Let's just double check. Um, uh, yep. Yeah, because we're just loading it. So, let's just start again. We did, was it, I think it was like one of the breaks. Was it winter break? Something like that. Oh, excuse me. But, uh, Excuse me. Ooh, ooh. Nothing good lasts forever, I guess. Time to get back to school. I have a few new classes this quarter, and a few continuations from last quarter. The, con the continuations, luckily, are being taught by some of the same professors. Don't have to learn new names this quarter. I even see a few familiar places in class. It looks like Anne is here with me. We share a quick nod as we get seated next to each other. And okay, vaguely familiar, but I also noticed another vaguely familiar face. A red-headed haired girl I've ugh, I feel like I've seen around before. She usually see her at the store or whatever whenever you're working, but Anne notices me looking and follows my gaze. Oh, it looks like Roxanne got into this class as well, huh? Okay, uh Forgot voices! Anyways, <clears throat> let me see. Oh, Looks like Roxanne got into this class as well, huh? Not like there's much of a difference, but I'm gonna try. <laughs> Before I can ask more, the professor strides into the room and throws his notes on the table in front of him. Okay, I don't even remember. Welcome back to all you who didn't flunk out of 101. You're not completely brain dead. Welcome to the class where you can actually get started. Although I'll be lecturing, there will be homework and the majority of your grade this quarter is going to come from a paper due at the end of class. Of course, I will be expecting your paper to be inclusive to the topics we've dis discussed in class. So I don't think you can just don't think you can just skip my class all quarter and bullshit your way to a grade A paper. Crap, that was half my plan. That being said, as some of you know, I am a tenured professor here. Oh god, does that mean he's going to do some fucked up shit and I can't do anything about it? But, anyways. Okay, yep. Which means I can indulge in more advanced classroom techniques. Uh-huh. If you'd like to know more about it, come see me after class for an extra credit assignment. Quote, unquote. I put them in there, but... Otherwise, open your books. I don't plan on going slowly this quarter, so try to stay awake out there. The professor drones on for the rest of class, getting right into the new quarter's lessons. By the time class is done, I've already got a page of notes to look over tonight. Wow, a whole page. Great, Max. Let's play the event. Might as well. And by notes, I mean a pile of unreadable dribble. Jesus Christ. Ugh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to take actually... <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to be able to take actually paying attention in class. Great. Maybe I should see what the professor's offer is. I might be able to scan my way out of doing any real work this quarter. Oh, no. I pack my things along with the other students, but instead of heading out the door, I head over to the professor. H hey, Max. And surprised to see you in this class. You... How were you surprised? You met... Her you noticed she was there in the beginning. What the hell... Max, sometimes I I transferred over this quarter, actually. I heard the professor was interesting. Um, I don't know if that's necessarily a good thing, Anne. Uh, well, he's still a college professor. What's the worst he could do? Oh, I can think of plenty he can do. <laughs> Please, I'm a tenured professor. I could order you to fight to the death, and the worst I'd get from the dean is a sigh and a frown. And he'd apologize for sighing. Okay, yep. I remember meeting this guy once before. I don't think he was this big of a douche, but now he's just like, okay. The professor looks over to the volunteers. Other than Anne, I see a few other classmates I recognize from around campus. This is it? I suppose I shouldn't have expected more. The professor looks at me with an obvious scorn in his eyes. Alright. I know some of you are here looking to skate out of my class on Easy Street. 
Pretty sure he looked at me when he said that. Pretty sure he's also right. But <laughs> there's no way I'm going to let you do so without a little entertainment for me. Oh god. Therefore, what I'm proposing is simple. You're going to get together in groups. There are enough of you here to make three groups of two. Go ahead, take a few moments and choose your partner. I'll pick up... I'll pick up a few other suck, uh, students later. Ah. Oh boy. Oh boy. We all look at each other for a few moments. Anna and I look at each other, shrugging our shoulders. Suddenly, the red-haired student I could swear I'd met before comes over to me. Okay, I, did I, I don't think I gave her a voice. Huh. Hello again, Max. I didn't think I'd see you in this class. Oh yeah, Roxanne, right? You were at the Halloween party. Yes, we only spoke briefly. Uh, nice to see you again. I know that's not a question mark, but... <laughs> you as well, Max. I was actually wondering if you'd like to be my partner for this activity. Oh, I was thinking I'd pair up with my friend here, there, everywhere, anywhere, well, anyways. And looks between Roxanne and me. Yeah, I thought we'd partner up. Roxanne looks over at Anne for a moment, as though she's sizing them up. I think you will find me the superior partner for this endeavor. Oh god, um... Wait, what? Do you know what the professor is on about? I'm a pretty good student, you know. No, I don't know what the proposed lesson is. However, I've seen what Anne is capable of, and I am simply better. Okay, you are a bitch. Yeah, you're better being a bitch, but... <laughs> what? I think it should be obvious that I will be... I, I will make the better partner. Come on, Max, let's get on with the lesson. I'm, of course I'm gonna go with Anne. I don't wanna be... Jesus Christ. Anyways. Even though Roxanne's relationship is kind of low compared to the others, I don't think I have any with Roxanne, so... <laughs> I do love it when the ladies fight over me. Sorry, Roxanne, but Anne lives with me, which makes it much more convenient, you know? Plus, you were a bit rude there. I was merely stating facts. If you choose to ignore them, it's your loss. Jeez. Roxanne walks over to one of the other students, I guess making her case to them. Oh, excuse me. Anne smiles at me, a, mouth, a mouthing a silent thank you. Ugh. Ugh. Mouthing a silent thank you while staring daggers at Roxanne. Okay, are we all sorted? Good. Here's how it works. Here's how it works, kitties. Your partner and you are study buddies. Your grades are intertwined. Once all the assignments are turned in and the tests are done, you'll both get the average of your two grades. Oh crap! We are going to fuck over Anne so bad. However, if one of you gets tired of all that working, just come to me and ask for the answers to the final. I'll give them to what- Oh. You'll pass the class and you won't have to do any of the other work. Here's the rub. If one of you comes to me and the other doesn't, the one who didn't ask for answers will automatically fail the class. Wow. Okay, then. Uh-huh. But if you both come to me, you'll get C's. Um, well, huh. Simple as that. Do you work together and hope you're smart enough to do it? Do you pray that your partner didn't decide to cheat? Do you take your C's and call it a day? Huh. Two on that. Now get out of my class, I have things to do. What the balls is this? And with that, Professor Task, a uh, har har, I just realized that, uh, just walks away from us. Most of us are left looking goggled eye at each other. What the hell was that? Exactly what I was saying. I think I just got an easy passing grade for the class, but no, Anne's not gonna want that. Anne's not gonna want that. Either way, I guess I'll have to keep an eye on Anne. Wait, what? It's gonna end it on that? Okay. Well then, I can't believe I never looked at that. Blah 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 blah. Let's just go to the next event. Do 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 do. Okay. There we go. Oh, we're back at the cafe. All right then. So early in the new quarter, and I've already got a ton of work to do. It's ridiculous. My music's finally starting to get somewhere, and they saddle me with so much homework, I'll never leave the house again. It's exactly why I made my way over to the cafe. Nothing says I have to stay cooped up while I do a bit of studying. Hey there. Is, it, is that going to be it for you? This will be fine. Thanks, Isabella. Come back later. I'll make sure to give you a tip. 
and by the tip I mean just the tip of my penis anyways <laughs> no need I've already got one don't hit on the waitress oh she's already well yeah she's got Chad apparently but <laughs> don't hit on the waitress she's she's almost certainly heard it done often and better wow okay she winks at me as she sways away from me tease that she is I've got my guitar on me, and I figure it won't hurt to strum a bit while I eat before I start my homework. I'm plucking a few chords quietly while the door opens and one of my classmates walk in. Oh, okay, her again. Her name's Carmen? I don't... Okay. Max! Okay. What kind of... I don't want to be mean, but... <clears throat> Let me see. Max! Oh, hey! I didn't know you'd be over here! Okay, play event. I don't know what kind of voice to give her, really. Oh hey Carmen, already have work to do? Can you believe- I uh, already have work to do, can you believe it? Really, you have work to do for class and stuff. Ugh. I know- okay, she's kind of scooting a little bit close to me. I don't know how I feel about this. I know, right? Do I, 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 okay, I'm just gonna- Let's see. Carmen takes a seat across from me, slinging down her own bag down next to her. There are enough books that it lands heavily. Oh my gosh, is that your guitar? I, uh, I caught your show at Gaz's place over the holiday break. You were fantastic. Oh really? That's great. I'm uh, glad you enjoyed it. We had a blast playing. Oh yeah, I couldn't believe how much fun your show was. I really enjoyed it a lot. Actually, I actually told all my friends. We all came back to see you the next night. Wow, two shows? I guess you're my biggest fan, huh? Biggest fan! Maybe not in quotes, but yeah, biggest fan. She's actually not that chubby, but... Eh. She's, she's a bit heavier set than the other girls, which is, no, not saying that much. I give her a smooth wink, wink and her cheeks wet, redden a bit. I can't believe I've got fans coming out of the woodwork already. I mean, I've already got the cute girls asking for my autograph. See? Even Max already thinks she's cute. I mean, yeah, she's fine. She's yeah, she's a bit heavier set. There's nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. But how long have you guys been doing shows like that? Oh, you know, a while. I mean, we haven't actually hit it big yet, but we're up in commerce. Yeah, you guys have got the talent to go far. From your lips, cutie. Carmen's got a pretty cute giggle. Oh god. <laughs> no. No, I don't know. I'm just, I don't have many voices, so. <laughs> well, aren't you two getting along famously? Oh, hey, Isabella. You know, do you know Carmen? She's one of my classmates. Carmen? Isabella is one of my roommates. Nice to meet you, Isabella. <laughs> I've seen you come in a few times. Nice to, nice to meet you formally. Get you anything? Wow, Isabella has a really kind of like, who the fuck are you face. Goddamn. Just a black coffee, please. Diet. Wait, they, that, that doesn't exist. Okay, I'm, okay. I, I'm, I, I'm not enough of that. <laughs> sure thing. Isabella eyes Carmen a little cautiously as she goes off to get the coffee. Carmen and I chat a bit more. Carmen seems really interested in what I've been up to. She is really excited as we chat, and oh my, okay, I get, she, Jesus, she has the biggest lady boner for me, I guess, but, um, we were both shocked as Isabella thumps the coffee down onto the table. Oh boy. Careful, Max, come in here, might try to kidnap you at this rate. Poke fun at Isabella, poke fun at Carmen, uh, okay, well, like, why would I poke fun at Isabella if she is, like, one of the only routes? Carmen, I don't think is a route, so... We, I you know, I don't want to, I'm not being mean for any other reason than that, okay? So, I don't know why I did this, but. Uh-oh, you think I've got a stalker on my hands here? Maybe you should protect me, huh, Isabella? What? I would never, I was just. Oh, please, who'd want to take away your skanky ass? She'll probably just cut you and run. Wow, okay. Nah, she hasn't got the guts. What? What? I can't help but start laughing. 
Sorry, Carmen. <laughs> Carmen. What the fuck? Okay. Sorry, Carmen. Isabella's just joking. I was just teasing him, hun. Don't worry. He's the jackass who decided to be a dick about it. Well, that's kind of a trait with Max, isn't it? But, um, oh, okay. <laughs> Don't you pay any attention to him. He's just a jerk. Whoa, uh, wha what? Okay. Okay, I guess that was not the right thing to do, but oh well. Isabella rolls her eyes at me a little frustratedly and walks away. Okay, wh I- Wow, really? God damn it, you suck, Isabella. Yeah, I'm definitely not going for you anymore. God, I can't- it's not gonna work. So, I guess it's gonna be freaking Sally. But, anyways. Carmen starts to breathe again, not re looking nearly as flustered. Like, really? How are you supposed to know this shit? Oh, making fun of freaking- If I was gonna poke fun of Isabella, that was gonna give me pluses instead of minuses. Really? God damn it. We eat and study at each other, with each other for a bit longer, enjoying each other's company before she decides to pack it in and head out. I should probably get going as well, so I scoot out the door behind her. We have goodbye if we go our separate ways. Well then, shit. But yeah, I don't know why I keep on trying to go for Isabella anyway. I'm kind of screwed with that path, so we're just gonna probably focus on Sally. I think she's the highest out of all of them. Even though... Excuse me, I'm probably not going to get her anyway, because this is my first playthrough and I have no idea what I'm doing, but I am, like I said, I'm trying to play as how I would probably play. So, that means I'm probably not going to get anybody. So, I'm a little surprised the house is so quiet. I know it's only the first week back, but I was half expecting a big party tonight or something. I wander out of my room and grab a quick snack. I guess it's going to be a quiet night. What? No, that's stupid. We're going to watch my show. My movie is not stupid. It is fantastic, and I think your movie might be the one that is steeped in stupidity. Ah, there it is. I knew the Latin House crew wouldn't let me down. I head downstairs and sneak past the couch towards the kitchen. It looks like Sally, Isabella, and Rakesh are arguing, arguing over what to watch on the big screen tonight. I make my way into the kitchen for a light snack while I debate whether I want to join or not. Of course, we're going to play the event. That's why we try to keep enough, enough energy for everything. As much as I am curious about so-and-so's evil twin brother and the mistress they share, I think my film will make much better watching. Was that sarcastic? Rakesh, are you being sarcastic? Oh yes, I learned about it just yesterday, specifically so I can use it when referring to shows that you like. Wow, okay. Again? You're learning all the wrong things from America, my friend. Alright, alright, you two. Knock it off before somebody throws a punch. Oh hey, Max. Both these guys gave up on listening to me 30 minutes ago. Well, luckily for you ladies, I was bored up there. I thought maybe you'd all gone out and forgotten to invite me. Instead, I find you here bicker bickering like toddlers. It's Rakesh's fault. He refuses to bow down to my superior taste. Right. This would be resolved as Isabella would acknowledge that I have brought the better entertainment. Um, did you have an opinion, Sally? Oh no, you don't. I'm not getting in the middle of this one. Fine, fine. You people are lucky you got me around, especially you, Isabella. I give her a wink and she blows me a kiss. Okay, she freaking does not like me a lot, so it's like, whatever. Alright, give me the movies, I'll figure out what we're watching tonight. I grab the DVD cases from the two of them, taking a moment to look them over while I consider. Isabella cons appears to have some kind of TV show bootleg DVD. The back is mostly in Spanish, but the words telenovela catch my eyes. Where Kiss, on the other hand, has had to be some kind of Bollywood movie. His case is mostly in Hindi. I have seen a few posters like this around the web. The others are starting to look impatient as I mull it over. Um, might as well watch the Bellas because, you know, I don't have really anything with Rakesh, so. I make a big show of looking over both films. It's like, hmm, hmm, hmm. I, I don't know where that came from. Yeah, that probably dates me a little bit, but anyways. I make a big show of looking over both films before I notice Isabella watching me intensely while she gently runs her tongue over her lips. Okay then. I roll my eyes at her, but she just laughs. 
Alright, fine, you win Isabella. What's this telenovela thing? Isabella actually claps with delight as she grabs the case back away from me and plugs it into the player under the big share TV. Oh, you guys are going to love this! I used to watch this show with my mother when I was growing up. Oh boy. Every day I'd get home from school and before I had to do my homework, mom would tune the TV and we'd watch for an hour. What follows is essentially a soap opera. The dialogue is all in Spanish and there aren't any, aren't any subtitles, so Isabella has to translate everything for us. That'd be kind of annoying, but... I don't watch soap operas in languages I do know. I certainly have no idea what's going on here. But Isabella seems pretty happy. There are a couple of scenes that are funny just because of how dramatic everybody's being on screen. Overall, I don't get it, but everybody has a good few laughs anyway. Isabella is, of course, really into it. At one point, she even takes my hand to proclaim how romantic it is, and one of the characters fell for the lady, even though she's really an evil twin. She doesn't let go of my hand for a while, though. It's kind of nice. Finally, the DVD runs out and we all clap. Thanks, Max. That was a lot of fun. A real blast from my past, you know. No problem. I enjoyed it too. You'll have to tell me more about this show some other time, okay? Ha! Huh, I could probably teach a whole class about it, but I'll fill you in sometime. Yay, I get some... I get, oh God, I need more events with Sally, or else I'm gonna get screwed even more, even though I'm pretty sure it's not gonna matter anyway. But I think it's the end of this week because we did not get an event. So, I'm gonna call it here. So, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, you can like, comment, it helps me out. If you want to help the channel grow, you can share this video. If you want to keep up with everything, you can subscribe to me on YouTube, you can follow me on Twitch and Twitter, or you can do all of them. It'd be good. But until next time, take care, guys. And I just realized I did this twice, but anyway, and now I just, okay, whatever, go. Go watch something else, too. Bye.